You know how that saying goes, ignorance is bliss, where in our case, ignorance is denying reality as a way to avoid a psychologically uncomfortable truth. Most people will tell you it's bad to be ignorant. But if for any reason you wish to be so, here's a tutorial on how to be ignorant. Deny the fact that you are ignorant. Most people are, only not you. You are above average. That's also what everyone says, but don't listen to everyone. You are smarter. You are better. You are special. Don't. By any means, have an open mind. You don't want your brains to leak out, right? Having an open mind might drag you out of your comfort zone, and that doesn't feel nice. It might also cause you to reconsider some of your core beliefs, and that's a lot of headache. That's why you should never accept the possibility of being wrong, no matter how good the argument seems. Always rely on stereotypes and prejudice. It was used by your ancestors in order to identify a potential threat, so it should totally help you in our modern society. Prejudice is embedded in your genes to help you survive, so you should embrace it. See that weirdo with a hood in the back of the class? He's most likely a beta, with no social life. Or that terrorist in a hijab? It's totally hiding a rocket launcher underneath. Also if we're on this topic, Always share all of the negative sensational news with as many people as you can. Terrorists hate it when they get a large media coverage, as their purpose is simply to kill, not to inflict terror. Some scientific studies say that right now, the world is way less violent than before, and that by spreading such news we greatly over-exaggerate the threats. That's what the scientists say. Don't trust science. It is a means of elitist propaganda. Just look at your phone, do you think it runs on the science fabricated hoax, electricity? Wrong, it's the 3000 year old magic that holds it together. Scientists even support nuclear power generation, which has killed thousands of people in the last century alone. How crazy is that? The only exception is to believe in science only when it agrees with your views. Don't read. Seriously, it just makes your head hurt. It fills your head with so-called smart and photosynthetic words. Fiction literature is just plain stupid, what's the point of reading about non-existent things? Scientific literature is just a big pile of lies made up by scientists, who are controlled by the elite. Reading in general is fatal to your ignorance, as it widens your perspective of the reality. That's why I strongly discourage being close to books. The only exceptions are the works of Deepak Chopra. Only accept information from sources that share the same view as yours. Anything that comes from websites that challenge your beliefs is indisputably false. Also, don't bother yourself debating someone online, simply call them morons for not being intelligent enough to believe the same things as you do. It should convince them. Acknowledge that all evil, is for the sake of evil. There are no underlying motives. All these politicians that make evil decisions, they do it because they like to see the world burn, not because they genuinely think that they are doing the right choice. All the terrorists, who kill innocent people, do it just because they like it, not because they believe that they are doing it for a greater cause. Even spam email, oh wait, never mind, that's just pure evil. So here it is. 8 Steps to Become More Ignorant, a thing despised by many, but part of even more. But no worries. Being ignorant is like being dead. When you are dead you don't know that you are dead, only the people around you suffer, same goes for being ignorant.